Hello, this is Charlie, and welcome to episode five. We have a shorter show today, no interview. Instead, I will review three Kratom addiction books available on Amazon. Before looking at the books, I've been thinking about relapses. It is easy to fall back to using Kratom again. For me, the physical part was only a couple of weeks, at least the harsh part, a month tops. The big pitfalls for me now going forward are with mental justifications to use Kratom again. Some of the stupid ideas that pop in my head include, and this is the biggest one, the one-time use fallacy is something like, I just need to take off the edge today only once, won't ever do it again, which always in reality leads back to daily use for most of us problematic users. Two, there's this obsession that I can use moderately if I'm smarter this time usually with a plan and a change of product or method that's at a lower dose. You know, I'll just use the T this time. Buying back into the marketing of Kratom as a health supplement, like I'm going to use it as a pre-workout, which some can, but that's not me. Four, chasing a previous perceived performance benefit, such as I need an energy boost or a focus enhancer for my job, which is one of the reasons I first took it. Five, self-medicating from hangover or withdrawal from other drugs or alcohol. And six, since the consequences of Kratom are not monumental with drunk driving and losing my license or possession charges, it's easy to justify using Kratom again as not as bad as other substances. I overcome these rationalizations by interacting with others in recovery Unfortunately, this usually means having contact with others who have relapsed and used Kratom again and who have ended up in the same boat that they were in before. It's a hard lesson to hear. It can be painful. But this reinforces that it is best to stay the course of abstinence. There are three books you can buy on Amazon right now about quitting Kratom, all self-published. I will review them from worst to best. Book one, Kratom Addiction Handbook, the complete guide on all you need to know about Kratom addiction to relief your life. And that's not a play on words. It's an actual typo right in the title. Authored by Dr. David Atkinson. The book was published in March, 2022. 42 pages long, it has a well-deserved 1.8 star rating. The book is full of typos and factual errors. It is free on an unlimited Kindle subscription, but I definitely would not spend any money to buy it under any circumstances. It is called a handbook, but I'm not sure what it's trying to do. It doesn't carry any authority, even if it was supposedly written by a medical doctor. The author has over 60 books on a wide range of subjects, including a bunch on rare cat breeds, sort of a book mill. Don't waste any time or money on this title. The second book is My Kratom Hell by Safari Girl, a user's guide to quitting Kratom. My Kratom Hell is a firsthand account written by a Kratom user. This is from the back cover. The book covers sensitive issues such as reasons for getting hooked, tips for quitting, what to expect, hair loss, tapering, natural alternatives to reduce withdrawals, thyroid problems, and more. If you are a Kratom user trying to quit or love someone using Kratom, this is a book to read. Most importantly, it is a book written in the form of therapy by a user hoping to inspire others to make the same positive change. 28 pages, but with no page numbers, this is a red flag. It is a memoir with suggestions on quitting published in September, 2019. I would ignore the ratings on this one as it was really downrated by the pro Kratom people. Don't get me wrong. There are issues with the book. I'm not sure it is worth $10. It'd be better as a long form article. Still the book may be right. If you're looking for a woman's point of view, here's an app review from Amazon. A quick read that brings to light the cold hard facts of Kratom addiction is the title of the review. Kratom addiction is real and more literature and studies are desperately needed. 
My Kratom Hell digs into the nitty gritty truth that so many are ignoring. The depression, mood swings, thyroid, and kidney problems are all laid out in this brief but detailed account of the author's own struggle to quit Kratom. Those who say that detoxing from Kratom is simple as giving up caffeine are ignorant to the plight of those struggling with a very serious addiction. Thanks to Safari Girl, it appears you are a pioneer in this genre of book. Third is a book entitled Kratom, A Glass Half Empty by Fallon J. Smith. The back reads, enter the Kraken and discover how a relatively fringe herbal supplement took the West by storm and ushered forth an era of addiction and regret. Kratom, a glass half empty, explores Kratom's rise to popularity in the West and drills deep into the heart of its true nature. The book is part memoir of the author's own experience with Kratom and serves as the ultimate quitting manual for the Kratom dependent. 107 pages with page numbers this time, but the print is in much bigger font. The book is by far the best of the three. It was published just this month in May 2023. The author is a pro nootropics YouTuber who is committed to quitting Kratom. The book is well organized compared to the others. Also a memoir, the book provides a sociological context for which Kratom exists. Here's the top review entitled, Pretty Good Info. I've been taking 40 grams of Kratom every day for years and really sick of how it makes me feel. This book has a lot of insights and confirmed many of my own observations about the Kratom community's total discard for the very negative aspects of Kratom. There's a good section on supplements, and I'm sure to use those during and after my taper. The book is short, but still much longer than the other Kratom books, which feel more like pamphlets. Essential reading if you're struggling with Kratom addiction and want to understand what exactly you're up against. Get off the Kratom, people. That's the end of the review. There are many good passages at every step of the process. One passage I like on page 93 reads as, I remember multiple instances where I'd get off of work or I'd be out on my bike on day four of a Kratom withdrawal, knowing the smoke shop was only a few blocks away. How nice would it be after a long day of work to pick up an extract? I mean, it's just one, and it's Friday after all. Many times I'd give in. But other times I'd stop dead in my tracks and tell myself that in that moment, I have a choice. I can go home. And I did. And even though I didn't have Kratom to numb out my mind or alleviate the withdrawals, I could feel something growing as I sat there, bored out of my mind and struggling. A sense of respect for myself. A seedling of power beginning to take root deep in the soil of struggle. I still hesitate to highly recommend it, but at $10 is by far the best of the three books. Kratom in the headlines. Palm Beach Post, May 18th, 2023. The headline reads, Kratom supplier owes millions to family of South Florida nurse who overdosed and died in 2021. At the time of death on June 20, 2021, the woman's fiance found her with a cup of coffee and an open packet of Kratom, which medical examiners would later point to as the 39-year-old woman's cause of death. The article states, there was no warning label, no recommended dosage, only the words space dust the product's name scrawled in black marker across the otherwise blank bag. According to data provided by Palm Beach County State Attorney's Office, county and medical examiners identified Kratom as the cause of death in 29 fatal overdoses in 2021, more than twice the number in 2020. The vendor who sold the Kratom stated that they did not have the money to defend the case, so it was a default judgment which some may argue is an exoneration of Kratom. I'm not trying to scaremonger here, but I think it's important to raise awareness that there are risks with Kratom. While the article did not provide this information, some or maybe even many of these 29 other deaths attributed to Kratom in Palm Beach County likely involved other comorbidities and or mixing of other drugs. That certainly didn't appear to be the case with the nurse in this article. From the reporting, she apparently wasn't doing other drugs, was in good health, and was not consuming extract products. (music) 
resource of the week. I will post the links to the books in the show notes. If you can't tell by now, I am sort of naive. I encountered Kratom in real life at a vape shop. When I started having trouble with it, I went online to seek help with Kratom. This is where my naivety came into play. I didn't realize Kratom was such a lightning rod, and many people are very passionate about it. When I post things about the podcast, a typical reply in the comments inserts a graphic from the American Kratom Association that says, quote, one of the world's leading experts on drug abuse and addiction says Kratom has no more potential for substance abuse disorder than caffeine. St. John's War and Nutmeg are dietary supplements that are comparable to Kratom in terms of the potential for addiction. I think this message is false and harmful. It is my responsibility not to consume Kratom now that I know I abuse it, and this podcast is about trying to help others in the same situation. However, there are noxious products on the market like Optimized Plant Meditated Solutions or OPMS or Botanic Tonics who makes the Feel Free product. These big companies and the Kratom lobby do not have the public's best interest in mind. I know the government is not infallible, but in this situation, I trust the FDA more when it comes to these extract products. I will put in the show notes a link to where you can report to the AFD a bad experience with a Kratom product. It's up to us to abstain from the substance, but some of the products are predatory. To celebrate a Kratom anniversary, if you want to share something for a future episode, please leave a voice message at 313-437-7720 or send an email or audio file to kratomsobriety at gmail.com. We are also at Kratom Sobriety on Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter. Until next week, keep it Kratom free.